Good morning, everyone. Warm welcome from this year's Farm Bro Air Show, where we are excited to be back after those few years where it was not possible to exhibit at a trade show. And I have to say, really exciting to meet a lot of customers, have really good discussions, and see how the aerospace industry is coming back as strong as, as ever. So in this video, we've actually put together a few of the highlights of the show and would like to share that with you. Hello everyone, Quinn Collette here with Trelleborg Ceiling Solutions Aerospace. Uh, just coming to you today to uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, our latest development in our exploration into the Asia Pacific market. Uh, we've been in Asia Pacific for a number of years, but just this year decided to have a concerted effort and a concerted focus on the Asia Pacific aerospace market. So in um, September of this year, I'll be traveling, relocating myself and setting up a team in Singapore and all of the relative countries just really to put aerospace specific resources in our customers' backyards. So we'll be aligning ourselves with all of the major aerospace companies ensuring that they have the right technical resources and commercial resources uh, at the right time. Historically, we've tried to do this from the Americas, uh, also from supporting from Europe. And while we were able to do that successfully, just the time difference made it uh, that much more difficult to really interact with the customer and react as fast and as quickly as they would like to see. So along with the, the technical support, the sales support, and the production that we have in Asia Pacific, we'll really be able to support those customers in 2022 and the years beyond. Good morning, everybody. I'm really excited to be talking to you today from Farnborough International Air Show here in 2022. And it's the first time in years that we've been able to come back because of the COVID pandemic. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about manufacturing, the really important part of what we do here at Trelleborg. I represent the three manufacturing locations for the BU Aerospace in TSS Shanghai, TSS Northborough and TSS Cadley Hill. In, this, in these facilities, we manufacture a range of airframe and engine seals. These seals are sealing aerodynamic profiles or they could be fire seals. We have pro approximately 120,000 square foot of manufacturing space, which, which is there to meet our needs for the market today. But we're also looking now at expanding our manufacturing footprint to add an, an additional 20% free capacity into the airframe sealing business. We have a range of processes that go on, which Matt will talk about uh, in a moment's time. But one of the other areas and key focuses that we're talking about today is also about innovation. And one of the things that we're doing now, we are looking at additive manufacturing and additive manufacturing at Cadley Hill, where we can now rapid prototype tooling that allows us to get a form of a seal into a production flight test or into a production ground static testing system. We can do that within 48 hours. And we've had some successes already in doing that with some customers. To talk more about our products, to talk more about where they fit on the aircraft, I'm now going to hand over to Matt. So yeah, morning guys. It's Matt Keen. I'm the Global Product Manager for the Manufacturing Sites within the Aerospace BU. And uh, our, our products are, are literally anywhere on the aircraft where we have moving dynamic surfaces or where there's an environmental barrier required as well. So on an airframe like we have here with the Max we can be on the elevators and ailerons in the wings and, uh, uh, and flight control systems. Anything in the flaps, flap bearings, and moving into even the, the more uh, passenger facing products. So with regards to the passenger door sills, we will walk past them as we go on and off the aircraft uh, every single flight. We move to the more technical, or should we say higher, higher technical products in the engines, especially in uh, engine like Leap, a massive amount of work we put into Leap. Uh, anything from the duct seals uh, or anything from the leading edge uh, uh, colder engine product to the hotter uh, trading edge of the engine, the duct seals, fire bellows. Uh, and even uh, we work with uh, Leap on the innovative uh, uh, VBV systems that they have for this engine as well. The majority of our product are fabric or composite reinforced, which means that we can't go down the stereotype injection or extrusion process. Uh, a lot of it is fabric, a lot of hand labor, and really it's a craft to build these products. So we look at a steady art aircraft like this, think everything comes out of a CNC machine, and actually it's down to the people that are in our three factories around the world that really fabricate these aircraft and, and seal the gaps up. 
meaning that we reduce the drag, increase the engine temperature performance, and overall produce a much better product for the customer as well. Hello everybody, welcome in Farnborough. My name is Michael De Luca. I'm the responsible for the Global Growth Initiative of Aerospace Engines for Trailerbox Ceiling Solutions. I'm really happy to welcome you here and introduce you to the new engine uh, developments that have been done in the last recent years and I will show you some insights just that big fan over there. Okay, so this is a Pratt & Whitney PW1100G engine that's the gear turbofan. It has been developed in the recent years in order to reduce fuel consumption of the Airbus F320neo, which is the new engine option, together with the LEAP engine, LEAP 1A. Um, a lot of work has been done on this uh, inlet uh, in order to make sure that uh, they reduce both the fuel consumption as well as the noise, and uh, so that they can achieve uh, a better efficiency on the whole flight. TSS has a long history in uh, aerospace engines. We have been involved over the years in uh, many, many different programs. And uh, originally we were working as a build to print, but uh, in the recent uh, years, we are more and more evolved as a build to spec. So uh, taking care of design and qualification of our products. You can now see here all the nascent seals, which are typically made from plants such as TSS Northborough or TSS Cadley. And uh, in the bottom section of the engines, you can see those grommets over there. Uh, those are more likely to be produced in plants such as TSS Condé. All of the engine equipment which is attached to the engine uh, includes a variety of seals, both static and dynamic, uh, which are normally supplied by plants such as TSS Tuxbury or TSS Bridgewater. Generally speaking, engines do include a variety of seals, uh, from aerodynamic sealing to fire seals but we don't have to forget all of the actuation around the engine and these are more likely produced in TSS Elsinger or TSS Fortwain to open the coals. There are those large actuators uh, over there which uh, do uh, extend all the coals and gain access to the engine for maintenance and inspection. I was really happy to introduce you to the uh, insights uh, of the aerospace engine applications for Trailbox and Solutions. In case you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out either to me directly or to the aerospace sales team and we will be glad to give you details. Hello, I'm Guillaume Deleuze, Technical Director for Aerospace Europe. And I'm Yaroslav Jane, the Design Engineering Manager for the Aerospace Manufacturing Unit. We are in front of the Boeing 777X with this new feature on the wings, the folding wheel tee system. It allows to improve in-flight fuel efficiency. However, most of the airport cannot accommodate the additional wingspan. Therefore, this system allows the wing to fall at the tip, reducing the overall wing size. To make this working, there is hydraulic system inside to actuate the the folding system and a locking actuator on which Trailborg is providing hydraulic seals when you product in TSS Singor. Also, to ensure the airflow, there is air FMC produced in TSS Cadley. Yeah, so uh, Trailborg is having a significant footprint on the uh, A frame ceiling on the 777X. Big part of that is the folded wing tip, so you see. Uh, a nice selection of uh, difficult A-frame seals. Um, some of them produced in, uh, in Swaddling Cold UK, in one of our uh, business unit manufacturing facilities. Uh, we are also in the same facility manufacturing the flap interface uh, sealant solutions, which is a grey line along the wing. Uh, I was personally involved in, in the engineering behind them, so uh, yeah, I find it extremely satisfying seeing that on the plane at the air show. Uh, thank you. Hey everyone, this is Kyle Lewithley with Trelleborg Sealing Solutions. I'm based out of Canada and I'm the general manager. Behind us is an A350 and we manufacture quite a few products for those landing gears. Landing gears are what's helping hold the plane upright right now, land safely, which is really critical. One of my favorite things to do when fly is make sure I always land. We make a variety of products there from quite a few manufacturing plants. 
in the Americas, we have Fort Wayne and Denver that are making piston and rod seals as well as spring energized seals. You may have seen the launch of our new product, the Zircon Excluder ESA, and what that does is it keeps all the dirt and contaminants. You look outside and there's stuff flying everywhere. It stops the wrong things from getting in. We've also developed routing and clipping products. So you can't unfortunately see it. We, we're gonna try and get closer, but it's these big purple cushions that are attached by metal and that's gonna hold hydraulic lines in place. That's made of our out of our facility in Condé, which is around Normandy area in France. Similarly, we have products coming from Bridgewater, from Tewksbury, and from Helsinger, servicing Saffron landing systems for who's the manufacturer of this gear. So thanks for taking a look at this. Hope this was helpful to actually see some of our products statically in action.